Hello everyone. Thank you very much for coming to Chef Kurosh's kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to do French bread again. And I know I have showed you this before, but I had a lot of requests from uh, subscribers and they send me an email, they send me messages. They asked me to show them how to do the French bread on its own, not with uh, other breads barbari I made some times ago. Anyway, uh, this bread also I'm going to use another new techniques. Basically, I'm going to use something they call it tang zang. I'm going to use that and that is the name is uh, something like mouthful name, but it is very easy. It is made only from uh, flour and water and how it works is equal parts flour and water you mix and you cook it on the stove uh, up to 60 centigrade for like 110 20 Fahrenheit and let it cool down and mix it with your dough while you're making uh, while you're making your uh, bread dough and that will make your bread dough go absolutely fluffy nice and on top gonna be brown golden brown and crispy anyway uh, the ingredients we need are going to be water flour salt yeast and making this bread is easy 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 it is only one two three four basically one is the ingredients number two is mixing them number three is baking and four is eating that's it one two three four now we're gonna start with the tang zhang. and what we need is a small pot we're gonna put the two ounces of flour in there and also two ounces of water I'm gonna mixing it and start cooking it. Also, I need the pinch of salt in there. That's a technique uh, usually they use in lots of bakeries. And also at home when you're using that technique, it is going to be making your bread absolutely delicious and nice and uh, almost tangy. And that is what we want. That is done. That is one pound and six ounces of water. Uh, yeast or three quarter of ounce yeast. I'm going to put my yeast in, I mean, my flour. I'm going to put salt. And we're going to add also the tang zinc. Now I'm going to let it rest for about half an hour, 40 minutes, going to cover it and come back. I put the timer on 45 minutes, only about 28 seconds left and uh, I let the dough rest uh, so we can uh, let it rest two, three times each time about 45 minutes. And this procedure also will make your dough to become sour. That will give you a sour dough. And that is what we want. When it's sour, when it's tangier, believe me, it is a lot, a lot, a lot nicer. That is why always we pay arm and a leg for a sour dough bread versus just normal. Okay? 
Okay, okay. Now. Let's look at it. Wow. Look good. Now I'm going to punch it down a little bit. Like this. No, I'm joking. We are not really punching the dough. We are just uh, kneading it to go down. And uh, let it rest for another 45 minutes. So we can uh, get a lot more sourdough. Gonna come back in uh, 45 minutes again. Right now is uh, one and a half hours. I let the dough rest. And now again, the dough has uh, raised. As you see, quite nice, quite good. Gonna punch it again, kneading it. And this time I'm gonna let it raise for about 30 minutes. And uh, after that, we're gonna cut it to six equal size pieces for our bread. So far, uh, almost two hours, we have had the dough made and we let it rest. Two times, 45 minutes each, that is one and a half hours. And, uh, and the third time was 30 minutes and the dough is almost ready. Now we're going to cut the dough. I'm waiting for the timer to go up and uh, start cutting the dough, dividing it to do, uh, dividing the dough. And I'm gonna get six, 10 ounces of uh, French bread out of this. Gonna have some flour here. This is absolutely beautiful dough. Now I'm gonna divide it to six, 10 ounces. What do you do? You grab the side, you roll it in. And roll them by hand. Again. You put a little bit of flour on it. Pull it, pull the sides. Put your finger and start rolling it inside. And roll it on your board or counter. Okay. I'm going to put some cuts on it like three or four cuts on each. You grab your tray, you grab a piece of tea towel, put it and put the first dough on the tray. And what do you do? Roll your towel and put the second one. Roll your towel, put your third one. Fold it so it can stay nice and it's not gonna dry out. Grab your bread. The cuts are facing up, as you see. Fold your towel.
the second one. Again, the same thing. Fold your towel. Third, and bring the towel, put it on top. Let it rest for about 15, 20 minutes. And after about 15, 20 minutes, again, the dough gonna rise. And when it raised, I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm gonna bake it at 450 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that is the time you should try that bread. It is absolutely delicious. And this bread is the best, best, best thing you can ever have. As I said before, bread is something everybody loves. That is why when you eat bread, you never wash your hand afterwards. When you eat other stuff, yes. But bread is the only item when you eat, you never wash your hand. And that shows everybody loves it. I have had the baguettes inside the towel for about 20 minutes. They have raised. Now I'm gonna place them on a baking tray and start baking them. First, I'm going to spray my tray with a small amount of oil. And grab the dough. Put them on the tray. Basically lay them on your arm like this. Turn it. And that's it. Gonna place them in the oven, and the oven is 450 degrees. Before I close the oven, I spray them with a small amount of water. And this water gonna help to build the crust so your uh, bread gonna be nicer, the actual crust on top gonna be nice and crusty. Now we're gonna wait for about 10 minutes. I had the uh, French bread in the oven for about 10 minutes and they are ready to be eaten, to be taken out. Oh my God. They look perfect, perfect and crusty. As you see now, they are baked at perfection. And um, I love to eat one of them. Right now I'm gonna cut it. That's inside. Oh, and hot. Perfect. I just want to thank you for uh, watching this video. I'm sure you should be able to make the same thing at home in a heartbeat without any problem. And uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up in the bottom of the video. Also, please subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook, Facebook 
facebook.com frances slash my simple dinner and thank you for watching